Hello friends and welcome to our channel. Today's video is about this child came to school late, but the teacher's punishment for him was surprising. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell and smash that like button. We really appreciate your continuous support. This is Amir, a nine-year-old who lives with his sick mother in a shabby home. He wakes up every day and finds his mother has already prepared breakfast for him. His father is dead. However, his mother has never told him the harsh truth. Every day, his mother tells him that his father has had breakfast early and went to work. At night, she tells him that he's not returned from work yet. Every morning, the child goes to work as a newspaper delivery guy, and the smile does not leave his face at work. Nonetheless, when he arrives at school, he enters the classroom, everything changes and his smile fades away. You may wonder why, but the teacher punishes him every time he comes in late by telling him to run in the schoolyard. She said to him, go out and run 10 times in the yard as a punishment for coming late. The poor child was exhausted since he's been working for hours. He put his bag down and said, please, madam, allow me to run just five times. She angrily refused and said 10 times. His classmates laughed at him and mocked his sad face. The kid had nothing to do but to go out and start running as usual. Once he got out and started running as the teacher ordered, she said to her students, everyone must have a talent and ambitions. You must try to get that talent out so that you are not like this student, a nobody. And she meant by this, the child Amir. Amir entered the classroom dragging his feet and wiping the sweat on his forehead. There was a bully in the school who hated Amir and made his life a living hell. He always curses and mocks Amir and sometimes even beats him. The child was so tired and fell asleep in class. After the lesson ended, the other classmates woke him up. As he didn't learn a thing that day, he took his things and left. However, while walking, he suddenly found an announcement that there was a race in the school. The race instructions were to run for 500 meters and the winner would get a massive amount of money as their prize. Because he loves sports, Amir excitedly took the paper from the advertisement to register in this race. However, once he turned around, he found that the school bus had already left. He ran in the hope that he would get to it, but unfortunately he couldn't. On the way home, he came across bullies who always looked down on him. So they gathered around him and eventually knew that he wanted to participate in the race. One of them told him, you're a loser, you'll never win the race because I am participating in it and I'll be way ahead of you, he added. Why don't you try racing me now, Amir agreed, and they raced. Unfortunately, Amir lost and fell to the ground. The poor kid was injured and his shoes were torn apart. After that, he returned home with a broken heart because he lost his only shoes. On the way, Amir coincidentally passed by an old shoe store. He liked one and asked about its price but he was shocked and disappointed hearing the vendor's response. It was too expensive and Amir didn't have any money. He arrived home and his mother told him to get ready for lunch. Once she looked at him and saw that he had wounds all over his body, she panicked. However, Amir calmed her down and told her that he had stumbled on a stone while running. The mother treated him and told him to pay more attention in the future. Nevertheless, the child was only interested in the competition and not in anything else. Before going to bed, Amir opened his piggy bank to get money to buy sports shoes, but only found 10 coins. Still, the shoe's price is 30 pieces. So he had no choice but to ask his aunt and allow him to work in her restaurant. And luckily, she gladly agreed. He started working every day until he collected the full amount of money he needed. His mother noticed that he was not focusing on his studies, so she told him, what's wrong with you, son? He replied, mama, Will you allow me to participate in this competition? The mother said, my son, your studies are more important than that, he said. Mother, please, I wish to participate in this competition. I want to win. She told him, okay, but promise me that you'll pay more attention to your studies in the future. Amir happily agreed, and indeed, he went straight to the shoe store and bought the pair he wanted for the race. However, things didn't always go as planned. Once Amir arrived at school, these bullies stole his shoes and threw them in the water. The crying boy came home and told his mother that he had lost his new shoes. He went in with his mother to have lunch. She couldn't stand seeing her dear child crying. So she went and bought his old torn shoes and they had them stitched up. 
She lovingly gave them to him, but her child's reaction stunned her. He threw them out of his sick mother's hand and said, I need sports shoes. I don't know why I was born in this poor family. He banged the door, went to his room, and kept crying. Despite what her child said, the mother felt sorry for him and bought him a new pair of shoes. She then put him in his room with a letter in which she says, My dear son, I know that this family cannot provide you everything, and what I can offer to you doesn't meet your need. Perhaps if you often ask why you were born in this poor family, but my son, I want to tell you the moment that you were born in this family was the happiest moment for us. I'm sorry, but I'm getting older and weaker day after day. I hope I'll be able to take care of you for the rest of my life. Today, I want to tell you that your father died and did not leave anything for us except for this pair of shoes. In the end, I want to tell you that I will always love you no matter what happens. After he read the letter, he went straight to his mother and deeply hugged her. The mother told him, I know you are a good child and I love you, my child. The day of the competition came and the mother went to school to watch the race. The children started running and the mother didn't stop cheering her kid. But the moment the child got ahead of everyone else, the bully pushed him to the ground. Once he fell, Amir recalled everything that had happened before and the suffering he went through. In an instant, he regained his strength, got up again, and kept running and running until he won first place. The mother's eyes at the moment filled with tears. She was overwhelmed with happiness. How wonderful this mother is! And how incredible this child's determination is! Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies, hit the subscribe button, and activate the notification bell so you never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.